Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, let's continue with the tarot reading for the Capricorn season, uh, for the Capricorn idols, and of course that I wanted to include this female idol since she is uh, um, very talented, beautiful, and of course she deserves <laughs> her tarot reading. Uh, and I'm talking about twice uh, Sana. So yes, this reading is going to be dedicated to her. Uh, so let's start with the cards that she got. She got the world card, a uh, page of swords, um, uh, five of wands and two of wands. And then uh, from the oracle of ancestors and angels, she got the card of a snake that is to shed your old skin. Um, definitely, I think that... Um, there's a lot of challenging moments coming for for Sana. I believe that um, she's preparing herself mentally because um, I don't know. Twenty twenty three. It seems like um, um, it's going to be a year with a lot of action, with a lot of things to do. Um, and also I believe that she comes from a, probably this past year, had uh, she also had to somehow close, close a cycle or probably end a relationship or, or a situationship or a situation that actually drained her very much, uh, especially mentally. Um, I think that um, she is now represented here in the present uh, with this page of swords. So it means that, you know, she is like ready to get back to work. I mean, this, these girls have been working a lot all these years. But I think that somehow she needed to close something uh, before moving on and before being really concentrated. As, as a page of sorts would, you know, but but I think that since we're talking about Sana and and this page of sorts definitely does remind me a bit of, you know, the, like I always say, the beginner kind of um, character, you know, like a sort of teenager. So somehow she's looking back, you know, like, okay, I close this cycle, I close this door, like I, I, I finish it, you know, there's no turning back, but somehow she keeps looking at the back. So probably this situation is not entirely over, but probably the way she had been uh, thinking or like her idea or her, um, her perception of what happened is different now, you know, like somehow she was able to break the cycle of repeating the same pattern you know she's like okay like i'm not like i'm not accepting the same thing over and over i finally put an end to it um and i think that this also is going to like benefit her in in the sense that she will be able to concentrate a bit more on putting her body to work uh, because she does have a lot of ones here, so she definitely has to connect with her passion, also with with her uh, very brave and fiery and and you know put a direction in her life. And probably you know since we are talking about Capricorn energy here, focusing on work, you know somehow I feel like there's something about her emotional world, even though we do not have cards here that that are cups or that indicate a sort of like uh, a bond, a connection. I think that somehow for Sana, um, uh, she had had a, a hard time letting go, you know, and actually like, like, you know, a, a sticking to her decision. This is why when I see this page of swords, I'm like, yeah, this is a very kind of teenager kind of behavior of hers you know like really like standing her ground and and speaking up and being like okay i'm not taking this anymore like i am making a change like i am stopping this but somehow she keeps looking back at the past 
So probably she's going to try her best to not repeat the same situations and to put some healthy boundaries. But I think that probably she's, she's not entirely sure, you know, because the page is, a, is an energy that still needs a lot of, like, she still needs to, to go through other things to somehow become more mature. Um, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Probably she's someone that is very sensitive to other people's needs. Um, it's like she's very loyal or she, you know, it, it's hard for her to accept that uh, that things are over and that there's nothing that you can do, you know. She's very persistent, so somehow, you know, there, there's going to be this sort of acceptance but also a bit of like oh but i'm not sure if the door is entirely all closed you know like um there could be a return from someone of the past as well um and obviously here with the five of wands i also sense that you know probably her uh, her members and in the female in her energy are going to also like support her but also be a bit like against this you know like 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 please remember like don't lose focus don't lose focus of your future of your or what you want to achieve the things that you want to do differently you know somehow reminding her that she needs to stand her ground and that she needs to keep her word you know i think that she has been feeling very sensitive lately um and it's hard for her to actually like move on and i think that probably you know the females uh the female energy because she does have the fortune to be surrounded by a lot of and different females so each one of them has their own point of view of course that it's sana's decision at the end um but definitely she is you know i think that this is why she's represented by this page of sorts because somehow there's this feeling in this this sense of like i feel like a child when i am or i feel like a teenager when i see this person you know and definitely a sense that it has something to do with her heart what her heart desires you know probably you know ha having been in, in a bond or a connection where where you know things had been difficult and, and 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 there had been arguments and differences you know and somehow you know a bit of drama i believe you know let's not forget that sana is a moon in leo so somehow emotionally you know she is i i, I i'm not saying that she is like addicted to drama but somehow she is a bit of, of a romantic in the sense that probably a bit of drama in the connection she's like okay it makes her feel alive and somehow also her view of what a relationship is about probably she has a very like um, combative kind of way of like okay if there's like um obstacles for us to face as a couple okay we will make it at the end because it's meant to be you know she's somehow like a bit of, of a hopeless romantic uh, but yeah she can be a bit blinded by the actual events you know and actually not being able to recognize that yes if someone hurt you or or really like didn't keep their promises or actually didn't make the effort to keep working on the relationship like you shouldn't be putting like the effort that the other is not putting you know there has to be a level of equality um so i think that definitely for sana this is going to be a year of a lot of learning and, and also about you know what direction do you want to take from now on i think that there's also um something that she has to decide you know she this year is going to be a lot about planning you know planning ahead you know how do you see yourself from um you know what what direction do you want to take you know and, and probably this is also going to 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 be about you know having discussions and actually a bit of differences with the people around her like actually i sense like probably discussions and and disagreements you know um like actually feeling like oh, okay like 
like you know not everyone feels the way I feel you know and I feel that that for her it's like okay like also it's part of learning that that sometimes there are things that we cannot force there are there can be disagreements there can be you know discussions and that that's okay I think that there's something that also probably Sana there's something that she wants to do individually uh, and she had been like putting off in all these years, probably actually not having the, the control or the possibility to choose to do something individually. I think that definitely this year, it seems like she wants to put a bit of resistance to how things have been done in the past. You know, probably if she had been like very obedient in the past in the sense of like, okay, they, they tell her how how you know her schedule is going to be and what the activities are going to be and you know it's like very strict she's going to be like this year she's going to be a bit of a visionary and a bit of of a rebel as well you know speaking up and being like you know i would like my career to have a different uh, a more exciting um like way I, I think that she definitely there are some projects that she wants to do or keep doing individually she has this need to connect with her individuality and to be able to shine on her own this doesn't mean that she is not going to participate on the group's activities of course she is but i think that probably in the past she had the the possibility to do individual works and she has felt very good doing this you know like like going on shows or being an MC you know and even acting there's something about acting I don't know um so definitely she's going to feel a bit like like okay like I guess uh, I should look out for myself and my own needs and and stop like sustaining relationships or friendships or connections that really drain her you know emotionally mentally and that actually are not that fulfilling or satisfying so this is something that she has to also like uh, and probably this year 2023 is going to be very meaningful about okay like she's already starting to understand that she had been following a sort of pattern and she wanted to break free of this here with the world card definitely is like she wants to like to turn the page she wants to be in a new chapter in her life 2023 she wants it to be different so i definitely see her putting the efforts to to somehow be a bit closer to she doesn't know yet which path she wants to take but what she does know is that she wants something different for herself and here with the with the oracle, you know, she got the card of a snake, shed your old skin, you know, it, and also it's about reinventing herself. Probably she is a bit like tired of playing the same things over and over. Probably she wants to try something a bit more daring and actually like she's a bit bored. Here all with all these ones, and I think that she's not the only one. I know I'm reading just for her. But probably this is the sentiment of a lot of like um, um, twice um, members. Probably they do talk about it. They do, you know, have the same the same vision of like what well, we want to do something different, and somehow being forced to do the same concept over and over. But they feel like, you know, like they already done it, you know, like they already use it. But somehow there, there, there could potentially be a bit like, no, you have to do what we tell you, you know, like, like actually um, being, I think that they are in, 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 in an environment and in a company where, you know, um, the ideas are not flowing. Actually, the girls do have uh, great ideas, but I think that these are not being taken into consideration. So there's going to be a bit of disagreement between them and the company as well, you know, uh, and then actually, you know, be also being a bit more like outspoken, actually, you know, I think that these things you definitely are not going to hear about it because um, these girls are very responsible about their image and also they are very mature. So I think that definitely they are being more honest 
about, you know, like, oh, we have this idea and we think that this concept needs to be reviewed or something like this because we are not comfortable with this. You know, somehow also like, you know, being a bit more assertive when it comes to, okay, yeah, we have been doing this for a while. We, we have some demands of our own. We have some ideas of our own and, and you know, um, honestly, I'm not sure, you know, much things are going to change, at least not this year, but they are going to try to be a bit more daring, you know, and, and just like pushing a bit more, you know, like, okay, like, you know, I'm not a child, so don't treat me like a child because I'm not a child, you know. So, yes, I think that that for, for Sana is going to be a year of a lot of, you know, um, taking a lot of actions, you know, not, not thinking so much, more like, okay, I want to have a plan. I want to, to look at my possibilities, like what's out there. You know, she's feeling a bit more, more curious, more courageous, you know, a bit more like, like ready to explore all the other sides of herself and also other possibilities, you know, like not being so like stuck in the always because she's like, okay, like I learned my lesson, I need to change, I need to shed my old skin, I need to become a new version, like I cannot keep acting the same way because I'm not going to get the results I want. You know, she had learned this the whole way. But yes, you know, the temptation of the past coming back is present. But yes, it depends on what she's going to do with this. Uh, but definitely, yes, the need for transformation is there. And she has to do it. She has to be a bit more also like, you know, here with the snake, it's also been a bit more of a, of, um being a bit more like intelligent in the sense of, of like thinking about herself, you know, and and also f not so much of, of what the others want to be, more like what do you want to do for yourself? You know, like like stay in your, in, in your individuality, you know, what's going on with you? Like, don't forget about you. This is her moon in Leo, like talking to her, like what is going on with you? What about your potential? You know, can you expand your horizons? Can you expand your options in all aspects of her life, not just uh, the professional one, also in the relationship uh, department. So yes, guys, this is all I have for her. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.